Welcome to another edition of PE Live. We are here at Hangar 24 Brewery in Redlands, and I'm joined by the Dares. Thank you guys so much Hello. for coming. Hello, thanks for having us. I'm really Thank excited. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're excited. excited. We're excited too. And it smells like beer. So. And it smells yeah. like beer. Yeah. I mean, there's beer, there's music. It's it's a good way to it's spend the time. <laughs> they go hand in hand for sure. Well, now you guys have been around for a while. Yeah. And in a lot of different ways. Can you talk a little bit about how the band started and how how we ended up here today? Uh. Well, um, it started with my brother and I. This is Matt. He looks like me. And um, we've been playing music together since the womb. Just kidding. But, but right after. Um, maybe since we were six, we started performing when we were nine. We grew up in Burlington, Vermont. And so we were performing at, like elementary schools and like, you know, like community festivals and stuff. And then when we were 13, we moved out to Whittier, California. Got a bass player, started playing shows around there. We uh, actually went to high school with this guy, and we met in Spanish class. Senor M. Yeah, that was our teacher. Mm -hmm. We didn't learn much Spanish, not because he was a bad teacher, but just because we were talking about music the whole time. Meet some new buddies. <laughs> and um, and then anyways, we we got signed when we were 16. We uh, did a couple tours around the country with uh, like the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Almost, Go Raider, and like all those that whole scene. It was really fun. We um, recorded all all over the country. And then um, after our tours, we couldn't get a release date, so we left the label. We basically hit reset on everything. We need this guy from his mom who produces movies, and she got us in a horror movie as the band at a Halloween party. And so we were doing that, and then we just started jamming because we had no bass player. It was Matt and I again, back to the roots. We started <laughs> jamming so after his, uh, he was taking college classes. And then we made him quit. <laughs> <laughs> they did. I Best dropped out. He dropped ever. out. <laughs> and then so like it was, just, we clicked, and then we decided we started playing shows, and we're like, we've always entertained the idea of having another guitarist because we were three piece for maybe seven years, and then after that. We called up our old Spanish class buddy Anthony over here, mm -hmm. and we just we played a Kids for Cancer benefit in Hollywood, and it was just we knew that he was the missing the missing link that that we needed in this <laughs> band, and so it's been this lineup for like three years now. We've done a couple tours. We recorded an album in Memphis. Um, we this guy and I live in Riverside with our parents now, broke musicians, and. Um, yeah, and cool, so that's, like it. Yeah, Riverside's yeah, cool. <laughs> Riverside's cool. Yeah. And uh no complaints. And that's how we got to Riverside and that's how we're here and we're just continuing playing music. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Long story, I tried to cut it down. <laughs> that was really good though. Like I love that you had the drama, we had movies, we had jobs. I mean like really there's like yeah. there's a story there. I feel like we had it was like behind the music for ninety <laughs> seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Less coke habits, so but yeah. <laughs> So I said less so. <laughs> so you know, you talked a little bit about uh, how the band came together. Like over the years, did the sound change in how you write oh, songs? Like, can totally. you talk a little bit about that? Maybe the sound totally changed. We 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 were more of a pop punk band for a long time. Like Green Day, Sum 41, Blink 102. That was that was yeah, us. Like when we were 13 and stuff. Like, yeah. oh my god. And then like, <laughs> like we still so, love those, so, like, yeah. all that music. But we, we, you know, we got older and we brought in some other influences. And so our music's evolved more to an alternative rock kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's kind of grown up with us. Yeah. We still have our roots, but we're just expanding on that. And then Matt, our drummer here, he writes most of the songs. Surprisingly, <laughs> I don't think the lead singer does. Which <laughs> I'm always proud to take the credit, but I, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be right. But yeah, he writes a lot of songs. I, I would say that the process has changed a little bit. But what's really changed is is well, I guess what we write about, and we know we we really we we're rehearsing writing a song now. But the process is basically the same. I mean, how does it start out with you when you're writing a song? Uh, I don't know, random inspirational moment, and then you just go from there. It's, yeah. it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to break it down like that. Inspiration! <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just whatever it is you're going through. For me, putting it in a song is the best way of getting it out and expressing it. Well, because you guys, you know, you started so long ago, it was like, how do you still play the old songs live? Like, do you uh, do you relate to them still? Is it kind oh, of yeah. hard to go back? Yeah, to, I mean, like, that? yes and no. Those, those songs were real to us then, they're kind of real now, even if. It, the the meat like it might change like like for you for example like say a song that it's not really uh, relevant in my life anymore maybe it's about something I wrote when I was 16 but I, at least you can um, like get in a driver you license. can you can you can at least like you know uh, reflect on what you're going through but also just enjoy playing it live and it kind of 
evolves into its own thing, like its own like a song that grew up. Like I don't know, it's a weird way of putting it. I know. <laughs> well, no, it's kind of like when you look at Green Day and you look at Dookie compared to yeah, American yeah. Idiot, yeah. and it's like they still yeah. play those songs. Yeah. But it has, you they, find your own way. You of evolve. Enjoying. I mean, it's yeah. just like your new perspective way. is always changing, and and it's you're compiling new life experiences. So I mean, like it's just natural. Yeah. <laughs> so what else is ahead for the rest of 2013? Uh, right now we're recording. We're doing three songs at, in Upland, actually keeping keeping our uh, our music in the IE, I guess. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna be making a music video soon. Hopefully soon. We're still finishing the song, and. Yeah, and then just uh, more shows, more, shows, shows. more Hopefully content. Hopefully a, a tour by next year sometimes. Mm -hmm. We're still working on all that, those yeah. details. <laughs> and just, yeah, just keep on keep on grinding out some songs. Yeah, yeah, just, we still love it. And, yeah. <laughs> and where can people find you online? They can find us everywhere. Um, Facebook.com slash The Dares, YouTube, we're on Tumblr, we're even on Pinterest. Yes, Buzznet. Buzz uh, Buzz Buzz yeah, we're all over. Um, wow, you really are. Most yeah, music sites. <laughs> um, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, what else is there? You could even iTunes. 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 Do iTunes. <laughs> yeah. <I> do <laughs> Buy our music. music. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> nice, shameless. Yeah, part. I mean, uh, if you Google the Dares, a lot will come up. Mostly stuff you can view at work and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, I mean, we're on all the major, wherever you think of a band would be, we're there. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Thank yeah, you thank you so much. Yeah, thank you thank for you. having us and doing this. We'll thank be you. rocking out acoustically. There we go. <laughs>